What is going on? Facebook Live, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Uh, I don't have a TikTok yet. TikToker, YouTube, all the places I post this video. This is Dr. Lee coming to you live from sunny San Diego. I'm driving into the office this morning and uh, I just uh, I had a, I had a thought uh, today about uh, getting those in life and rejection, basically. So what I have found in my life is when I'm only getting yeses in my life, when everything is a yes, um, that means I'm in my comfort zone. That means I'm doing things that aren't pushing the envelope. That aren't requiring a lot of uh, challenge or that aren't challenging, right? If I'm getting yeses all the time. But when I start to get no's in my life, that's when I know I'm pushing the envelope. But when I'm, I'm challenging myself and I'm doing something that's uh, not certain, not for sure. And uh, that's where growth is found. So, you know, many of us, you know, look at no's as, you know, something to avoid, you know, or look at a no as a failure, something that's not desirable. But you know, what I have found in my life is that the no's are the most desirable, which is counterintuitive. So, you know, many, many times, you know, people, when, when you see the masses doing something, basically, you see the majority of people doing something, but the majority of people are doing it, it's probably wrong. It's probably, it's, it probably leads to a common path if the majority of people are doing it. It probably leads to a common path, a common experience, mediocrity, all that when you see the masses. The masses are what the median is at the middle. That's what the middle is going to do. So, you know, I always encourage people, you know, sometimes, many times when the masses are, are, are agreeing or going in one direction, that's usually the wrong direction. So the masses, the majority of people, the majority of people will seek yeses. They want to be affirmed the majority of the time in their life. They're looking for yeses. They're looking for confirmation. They're looking for affirmation. They're looking for alliances. They're looking for people to agree. They're looking for life to agree. They're looking for the easy route. That's the majority of the people. But growth, if you want to grow, if you truly inside of you desire to grow, you want to become a better person at life, right? Because we're all playing this game of life. We're all here trying to figure out life. If you want to get better at life, my encouragement to you is to find some no's. Get to the no's. Get to the things that aren't easy. Get to the things that you're going to fail at the first time, or maybe the first hundred times, or maybe the first 500 times. Get to that. St Get to the no's. Because the no's bring growth. Because when you get no, now you got to figure out something else, right? You got to figure out how to get to the yes. You got to change something up. Maybe you have to improve in an area. Maybe you have to go and read about something. Maybe you have to seek out a mentor to guide you. But when you're getting yeses, it's all good. You know, you know everything. You don't need any help. It's yes, 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 yes all the time. Now, eventually you want to get to yeses in, in the things that you do, right? But my point is... You know, you shouldn't be getting yeses in every area. If you're getting yeses in every area, then that means that you aren't growing. That means you aren't pushing the envelope. That means you aren't exercising faith. You aren't exercising your belief that it's going to need, you know, something more than what you already have. And that's where growth is. Right? So... This is counterintuitive. Many people want the easy route. They want it easy. They want the yes. They want somebody to tell them yes. 
And what I'm encouraging you is if you if you're living a life where you're seeing a bunch of yeses, right? And you, every goal you're trying, you hitting. Everything you're trying to do is popping for you. I would encourage you to dream bigger. I would encourage you to get out of your comfort zone. Because comfort will allow you to live a life that is not your dream. It's not what you really want to do. That's what comfort will, will give you on a platter. Right? But well, many people, you know, look at folks that have had some sort of uh, success and many times you know the, 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 the chatter in your brain is that this person had it easy the chatter in your brain it says that something was easy for them or it was easier for them right that's what we want to tell ourselves to separate us from them because it was hard for us so it was easy for them so that's why because it was easy for them that's why they are successful and not me, right? That's what we like to do in our brains. We we like to make some sort of rationale or excuse of why this person has something that we don't. And what I have found is that any area in my life where I've had any sort of success, any area in my life uh, has, ha has always taken the harder choices. So I'll give you a, a prime example, very basic example, but you know, school in school in academics i played basketball the majority of my teammates were physical education majors basically we got to college and they were like we're gonna take the easiest classes we're gonna take the easiest classes so we can focus on hooping and we're not gonna have it hard right whereas me i actually decided to take the harder classes i was a biology chemistry major right i'm taking classes like organic chemistry i'm doing biology lab i'm taking the harder classes that are going to require more time right but the harder route allowed me then to actually get into medical school so you have to pick the harder route the harder route is going to lead to the harder results or the less common results. The harder route is, but the harder route also requires faith and belief in yourself, belief in something that you can't necessarily see. That's not easy. The harder route requires a belief that you can get a yes when you've gotten no after no after no. But as you go after no after no after no, right? You grow, you become better. Right, you get better. That's how you get better at life, is by going after the nose, going after something that you can't do on the first time. Right. So I just want to encourage people, you know, today, this week, the rest of this year, I want to encourage you get outside of your comfort zone. Try to do something that you can't do. Do something where you are a beginner. Dream so big. Right, that it stretches your belief that if it's possible for you, right? Dream so big that it's gonna require God to come in, right? Dream so big that you don't know how you're gonna do it, right? You're gonna get no's. No's aren't to be avoided, okay? No's are actually to be sought out because that is where your growth is. That is how you get better. So, you know, one of the chapters in my book, Persist, How to Beat the Things That Make Us Quit, one of the chapters I write in there about uh, comfort zone and how your comfort zone can actually be what is holding you back. Your comfort zone, the very comfortable life that you have set up for yourself, could actually be the thing that is making you quit on your dream. So... You know, I, I talk about how, you know, life will give you a level of comfort. And you don't want, you know, at some point you may not want to disrupt that comfort. But your dream is not in that comfort, 
right? You want something better for yourself. You want something bigger or grander or, or, or whatever, right? But your comfort zone is keeping you there because you're like, oh man, or maybe it's a job that you're in. Oh, I don't really like this job, but you know, it's got decent pay and oh, the benefits are great and my hours are good. Oh yeah, but I really want to do this with my life. But, but you know, this job is comfortable, right? But there's very little excitement and comfort. There's excitement in new things. There's excitement in uncertainty when you don't know your comfort zone. You absolutely know you're comfortable, right? There's very little unknowns in your comfort zone. But when you are getting into uncertainty, there's excitement. You know, maybe you're anxious about something. Maybe there's a excitement when something goes okay. And then maybe there's a, a low moment when things don't go okay. That's life. Right? Like that's a great experience of life. Highs and lows of life. We don't want to avoid the lows. And the lows are the no's many times. Right? A low comes after a no. But that's a part of life. Time to celebrate. Time to cry. Right? Time to win. Time to lose. So there's always a time in life for, for everything. Right, but that's the full experience of life. But what I've found is as you go after your dream, that's when you are able to have the full fullest experience in life. You know, that's when you have to have all of the emotions of life. You have to have the belief, the certainty, you have to have confidence. You know, you have to be sure of yourself. You have to uh, you know, avoid the naysayers. You have to be able to provide rebuttals to people that say you can't do these things that this is all growing yourself as you grow yourself you become more confident as you grow yourself you become more certain in what you do as you grow and for me that growth involves getting closer to God as you grow now you're able to move in faith more as you're able to grow, get closer to God, you're able to see with more clarity what you're supposed to do with your life, which brings certainty. And so now I know what I'm here for, which when I can move, right? I can move. And it doesn't require everything to go great because I have a certainty inside of me that knows this is what I'm supposed to do. Maybe it's not my time. Maybe, uh, maybe it's going to happen for me next year. Maybe it's going to happen next quarter. Maybe right? But with that certainty comes continued action. So many people that I come across online, many people that I see when I'm out doing my talks and email me, read my books, you know, many people aren't sure what they want to do. Right? They aren't sure what they want to do. Or maybe they have an idea of something that they want to do, but, you know, they tried one time and it didn't work out for them. Or it's deeming difficult for them. It didn't go so well. You applied to the school one year and you didn't get in. And what I'm telling you is that the opposition, go for that. Go for that. It took me, and I always tell this story... It took me five years to get into medical school. I had to apply over and over and over again for five years. Hundreds of applications. If I had a thought after I applied to every medical school in the USA and everybody denied me, if I had a thought for a second I wasn't supposed to be a doctor, just because I got rejected from every school, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here today doing what I do, talking about what I talk about, writing about what I write about. I wouldn't have the life that I have if I gave up or I believed for a second, truly believed that I wasn't going to be a doctor. Now, yeah, there was there were some low times. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I said, there's a time and place for everything. There were moments when I questioned it. There were moments when I was like, how in the world is it, you know, it's been three years, I'm, am I going to apply again? Yeah, there were moments 
when I almost gave up, right? But I kept believing, right? And I sought more no's. And as I sought more no's, eventually a yes came. And I say, you know, I, I never say miraculously or you know, it's none of that, right? It, it's, it, was, it was all orchestrated, right? The yes came in its timing. It wasn't my timing. God's timing, yes, yes came. Oh, now I'm in medical school. Right? So for you, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is seeking the nose. Don't look at the nose as, uh, you know, as, as validation that something is not for you. Don't look at the nose as, uh, you know, confirmation that you can't do what you want to do in your life. Don't look at nose for that. Your nose many times are the test that is required for you to get past, to get what you want. Especially if you're trying to do something extraordinary. Especially if you're trying to do something everybody's not doing. You got to be ready for the no. You got to be ready for the no. So I just want to encourage y'all. You know, keep pressing. Keep believing in your dream. Keep believing in that vision God's put in your mind. Keep believing in that. No matter how many no's you get. No matter how many people don't understand. No matter how many times you pray that, okay, God make it happen for me this week and it doesn't. No matter how many times. I want you to continue to keep pressing forward. Seek after the no's. The no's are, are, are there for you to grow. If you're getting a no, that's the area where you need to grow. You need to take the feedback from the no, improve, and then try again. Don't take the no as a reason for you to quit. Because no's got people, no's got people quitting all quitting on their dream all over the place. No's got people quitting all over the place. Now you're living a life of a, of, a, of a compromise because you quit because of a no. When you had the, the vision was given to you as a kid. I said the first time I, I at eight, I was going to be a doctor eight years old. Now it didn't happen until I was 29. 20 years later, it didn't happen until 20 years later. But if I had to believe those first acceptance letters... That I didn't get those first denials. If I had to believe that was that was going to be my life, I would have quit. So you know, I just want, I just want people to understand. You know, life is is a journey. And just imagine if you're watching somebody's movie, and you're watching the movie. And the hero in the movie is always winning. He's never down. Nothing ever goes wrong. Every single time. There's no challenge. There's no struggle. Who would want to watch that movie? Nobody's watching that movie. Ain't nobody watching that movie. We don't want to watch the movie before I already know it's about to happen. I, there, there's, you know what? what, what? There's, no, there, there's no struggle. So, I mean, if we understand it in the sense of a movie... If I want to go to the movie. I want to be ups and down. I, oh, oh, I want to think that I want to think the guy's about to die. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, God, you know, like I want to be watching that movie like, whoa, you know, it's got to be ups and downs. Exciting. You know, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Is he going to be able to get through this? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, my God. Buzzer beater. Oh, we won. Right. Like that's life. So if you're expecting your life to be smooth sailing, no ups and downs, nobody's going to watch that movie. That's not life. That's not the life. I don't believe that's the life God wants for you. I believe in my heart of hearts, he wants the full experience of life, which is going to require you to step out on faith sometimes in uncertainty and not know and believe when you cannot see. Right. That, that It's going to require that. Right. So keep pressing, guys. Just want to hop on. I hope this bless somebody. Um, I hope I spoke to you. What's going on, IT? I see you. Good morning. Um, keep pressing, guys. And like I say, you know, until next time, God bless, God speed. Keep going after that vision. You got this. Later.